Hello, hello, guys. Welcome to this tutorial. I'm Omar Jase from the Gambia. I'm a full stack software developer. I code mostly using PHP, Laravel, JavaScript, and its ecosystem. And of course, HTML and CSS, which is what we're gonna even do today in this tutorial. Okay, so I want us to do something, and before I'll proceed, I want to say this thing. This is basically going to be my first tutorial in this year. Um, this also meant to be a welcoming one, and I'm not going to edit this video. Like, it's kind of unprepared, but it's okay with me. Uh, I just have to do this thing. We are not going to edit this thing. I'm not going to cut anything. It's just going to be raw from, like, just from recording, and then, like, if it's good, then I'm just going to publish it on YouTube. And if it's not good, then I have to cut it. But I hope it's going to be a good one. Okay, so let me just quickly show you what we're going to do. This is what we are going to do. We're going to develop this flag and using HTML and CSS from scratch. And this is the flag of the game. This is the flag of my country. I love my country. And I just want to welcome you guys with a design of the flag of my country. Okay, so I think this is cool. So you guys can, you guys can get started. And to get started, obviously, we need a code editor, right? So let's, get, let's go to our code editor. All right, so this is my code editor, and I'm going to create a HTML file, and I'm going to name the file as index.html. Okay, so after getting that, I'm going to bring in the HTML file where I played using a shortcut. I'm going to say exclamation mark, tap, or enter. It's going to give me this thing called the boiler plate. And this is cool, right? And before, we used to write this thing hand by hand, but now with Visual Studio Code and Emmet, it's a plugin that is installed with Visual Studio Code by default. That means when you install Visual Studio Code, you have Emmet by default. Emmet gives you the power. Emmet gives you this ability to have uh, the boilerplate by default. So I'm going to change this thing to the flag of the Gambia. That's the title. And now in our body, on line 10, we're going to start putting our HTML course that basically the structure of our flag. So let me just take you back to the flag and then we do something together quickly here. So you guys can see this is basically a rectangle, guys. You can see, and we have another rectangle inside. We have another rectangle, another second rectangle. We have a third rectangle. We have a fourth rectangle, and we have a fifth rectangle. Basically, we have five rectangles inside one big rectangle. So let's just quickly put that in course and see. Okay, I'm gonna say diff, and still going to use the power of emmet and right angle bracket if times five so this basically means create a diff and have five other diffs inside that diff and i hit enter you see i get that it's cool right this is a very fast way of writing html okay or oh, quick way of writing html red that's going to be my red stripe i'm gonna have my white stripe i'm gonna have my blue and then i'm gonna have my white again and then i'm gonna have my green so guys this is really cool and before we start touching css or do anything let's just see how this thing looks in the browser so i'm gonna say open with live server i also have live server installed so if you guys don't have live server installed please install live server it's really really cool uh you can just easily open uh your web page in the browser and uh, anytime you make a change it will just automatically reload in the browser you don't have to make a refresh or reload so this is cool guys so i think we can go to the design because that's what brought us here guys so uh this is what we're gonna do i'm gonna say uh okay i'm gonna say style and this is the method i just want to use to style this web page and remember uh if you don't already know we have three different ways of adding CSS to our HTML. We have one called inline, we have another called embedded, that is this one I'm doing right now here, and we have another one called external. And embedded basically is the idea of putting CSS inside the head tag of your HTML document. All right, so uh, uh, this is what I will do. Let's say I'm gonna give this a class of flag, and this div I'm gonna give it a class of red, and this div I'm gonna give it a class of white and this div I'm gonna give it a class of blue and this div I'm gonna give it a class of white again and this div I'm gonna give it a class of green so why these classes I'm just adding these classes so that I can easily select these elements uh, in my CSS and then give them the proper styles that I would need for them okay this code and if you don't also know class class is an attribute in html 
uh, most of the time we use it with CSS when we define a class in our HTML element uh, we normally go to our CSS and then put some style uh, on that class so this is what we are going to do we're going to say dot flag and I'm going to give it a width of maybe 300 pixel this is just a random value that I'm coming up with and I'm going to give it a height of maybe 180 pixel I think this is cool and let's just give this thing maybe a border or maybe some background well, let's just give it a border so that we're gonna see how it's gonna look one pixel maybe solid and maybe salmon yeah this is cool let's see this in the browser guys oh this is nice right and you see we have ML <laughs> sorry we have live server so we don't need to reference or reload the browser to see the changes so this is cool guys so we can continue and now i want to have my rest type i'm gonna say dot red you see it's cool and then i'm gonna say and let me just quickly show you something here guys uh okay you see this we have this this and this okay it looks like the red and the green and blue plus these two white they have equal heights so this means we can basically scale let's say we have one we have 180 here red is gonna have a height of maybe 60 pixel i think that's cool and we can give it a width of 100 percent that means we want everything like from its container and then we can give it a background of maybe red i think not, not available red yeah this is cool let's see this in the browser okay cool you see we have this thing and now this is what we're gonna do i think we don't need this thing anymore so remove this thing and we can even duplicate this thing to have the white and the other stuff okay so i'm gonna say white like this and remember what i just said right the white the two whites plus the one blue should give us 60 right so basically uh we're gonna say y should have a height of 10 pixel right and then we should be 100 percent and then red should be color should be white yeah this is cool and then we need blue right then i'm gonna say dot blue and then i'm gonna say height it's going to be uh should be 40 pixel guys so I'm not sure if you guys are doing the math right. And uh, 100%. And then I'm gonna say background color of blue. So this is cool, guys. And uh, let's see this in the browser first. Hmm, it's coming up, right? Yeah, it's really coming up. And uh, we may not even start. Yeah, let's remove all of these things. We don't need them. It was just there to demonstrate our elements. So let's remove them. So cool, guys. So let's see this in the browser. Right, you see, it's cool. So what do we actually need now? We don't need to have another white again because we have already we already have white defined here in our CSS. So and this is also one of the advantages of using classes like you can we can reuse them. You can see we are using white on two different divs here, this div and this div, and we just need to define it once like in our CSS. Huh? So please you don't have to rewrite white again. Huh? That's going to be duplicate and maybe unnecessary code. So now what we need to do we just need to say green like this. And green, we say give it a height of maybe 60 pixel, and then we give a width of 100%, and then we give a background color of green. So this is cool. Now let's see how our flag looks. Wow, we have the flag. Let's compare this thing. It's, it's almost all the same. So let's look at this thing again. Now what we don't need here is the border. Huh? So let's go and remove the border. So with border, we don't need we don't need this border. Right, yeah, we don't need this border, guys. So, guys, we are done with this flag. And honestly, this is basic, basic CSS. And there is something called refactoring that we can do here. But let's say before touching this code, any uh, uh, again, let's just see this thing again. So this is really looking cool. Let's compare again. Yeah, I think it's cool, and I really like it. So, guys, basically, like that's it. And this is how you just design a simple flag like this one. And you can go and design your own flag. And yeah and i hope you guys like this tutorial so but before i would just end this uh tutorial i would just want to see how best we can maybe refer to this code basically call it optimize this code uh let's see let's see let's see i think everything is cool here so what basically we may not need is we may not need this with 100 percent again and um, yeah because it's kind of unnecessary yeah the default is just gonna take 100 percent so let us remove this with 100 percent and let's confirm that it's gonna work i'm gonna remove it and then so you always see 
no problem everything's working so we don't basically need this bit 100 percent yeah so this is cool guys so let's refresh it's cool so now we have less and very clean code and also maybe let's remove these gaps okay guys so guys basically this is our welcome video for 2021 and i'm really hoping to give you a lot of videos a lot of tutorials uh please just don't forget to subscribe like the channel and send your comments just tell me let me know what you do what do you want to learn let me know what do you want to learn honestly like, i'm gonna do my best and try to just give you uh just to teach you i just want to share my knowledge with you guys and i just want you to also know how to code most of you just want to learn how to code i just want you to learn how to code and please don't forget to like subscribe and follow me probably on twitter and maybe facebook and maybe on linkedin i'm also there and ask me questions if you guys have any questions please huh? i would really love to hear from you guys and please give me your feedback and let me know how do you like this way of like doing tutorials like no edit raw you guys can see like and i'll be making mistakes time to time probably this one was kind of easy on me but i'm sorry if i have to continue with this method of delivering videos surely like i'll be making mistakes in the videos and i think that's also is gonna that's gonna be great that guys so anyway i'm gonna stop the video here i don't i don't want to bore you with a lot of talks uh hope to see you in another video just let me know what do you want to learn and then i'm gonna try my best to teach you uh data so thank you guys feel free bye see you in another